Hi everyone, so this is the story of Chicken Little. One fine morning, Chicken Little went out to the woods. As she walked along, an acorn fell on her head. Chicken Little was a silly little chicken, and she often made silly mistakes. Chicken Little thought the acorn was a part of the sky. Chicken Little was so caught by surprise that she worked herself into a tizzy. Oh dear me, she cried. The sky is falling. I must go and tell the king. On her way to the king, Chicken Little met Henny Penny. Henny Penny, the sky is falling, cried Chicken Little. How do you know? asked Henny Penny. A piece of it fell on my poor head, said Chicken Little, rubbing her poor little noggin with the memory of it. Then let us go and tell the king, said Henny Penny, who now felt quite worried as well. So Henny Penny and Chicken Little ran along until they met Goosey Lucy. Goosey Lucy, the sky's falling, cried Henny Penny. How do you know? asked Goosey Lucy. A piece of it fell on my poor head, said Chicken Little. Goosey Lucy looked at Henny Penny, who nodded in agreement. Then let us go and tell the king, said Goosey Lucy, who could not help but believe her friends. So, Goosey Lucy, Henny Penny, and Chicken Little hurried along until they met Ducky Lucky. Ducky Lucky, the sky is falling, cried Goosey Lucy. How do you know? asked Ducky Lucky. A piece of it fell on my poor head, said Chicken Little. Henny Penny and Goosey Lucy stood, nodding their heads wide-eyed next to Chicken Little. Ducky Lucky looked at her three friends and became worried because they were so worried. Then, let us go and tell the king, said Ducky Lucky. So, Ducky Lucky, Goosey Lucy, Henny Penny, and Chicken Little ran along until they met Turkey Lurkey, who was certainly the biggest of the birds. Turkey Lurkey, the sky is falling, cried Ducky Lucky. How do you know? asked Turkey Lurkey. A piece of it fell on my poor head, said Chicken Little. Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, and Ducky Lucky stood behind Chicken Little, flapping their wings with worry. Then let us go and tell the king, said Turkey Lurkey. For who was he to disagree with his four scared friends? So the five feathered friends ran along until they met Foxy Loxy. Foxy Loxy, the sky is falling, cried Turkey Lurkey. Oh, is that so? said Sly Foxy Loxy, who knew better but pretended to believe the five trembling birds. If the sky is falling, you better keep safe in my den, and I will go and tell the king for you. So, Chicken Little, Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey followed Foxy Loxy into his den. The dust in the den made Chicken Little sneeze. Achoo! The force of the sneeze made Chicken Little come back to her senses. Wait! cried Chicken Little. Birds are supposed to stay away from foxes. Henny Penny, Goosey Lucy, Ducky Lucky, and Turkey Lurkey looked at each other in amazement. You are right! they cried. And so the five feather friends ran out of the cave and never went back there again. And from that day on, they thought very carefully before believing that the sky was falling again. And that, my friends, is the end to the story of Chicken Little. Thanks for watching.